Asus ROG is really committed on creating awesome peripherals for either gaming or just a daily driver for work. And we can tell based on our previous reviews. We can see this continuous commitment on their newest full-size keyboard, the ASUS ROG Strix Flare 2 Animate. I'm Jay, and for today's video, we're going to review this keyboard that ASUS sent us and they have no say on what we have to say whatsoever. Quick rundown lang sa specs, it's a full-size keyboard with regular ANSI layout, has media and volume controls, has Windows lock key, RGB switch, and brightness control on the top left portion of the keyboard. Non-modular USB cable that has two ends, one for the keyboard and another for the USB pass-through. Comes with ASUS very own NX Blues but if you're like me na graduate na sa Clickies, it can also come with NX Reds or Cherry MX switches. Double shot PBT keycaps and here's the good part, it is hot swappable. They also include their anime matrix LED display on the top right portion of the keyboard that you can customize through Armory Crate. For the review, I use it for half a month to do my daily task here sa store and also to write the script of this video and here's what I like about this keyboard. I've been using either 65% or TKL for quite a while now and I forgot how helpful the numpad is. Especially in our daily routine here sa store. My times na kailangan namin mag-compute for total amount ng purchase, encode formulas on our spreadsheet, or type multiple strings of digits. So this keyboard is for you even though you'll not use it for gaming and its sole purpose is for work. Not many mods can be made but the switches are hot swappable. So you can use your favorite switch here. I plugged in a Duroc T1, Aqua Sponge, and Starfish, and also an Otemo Blue just to test the compatibility. And all works well as long as Cherry MX base switches yung gamit mo. The RGB on this guy is on point. Even the bottom part of the board has RGB that is diffused by a magnetic strip. And that magnetic strip can be removed to make room for a restress. And oh, RGB din yung restress. What I don't like about this keyboard are the cushion of the restress is high quality, but it's a bit too high for the keyboard. Elevated yung kamay mo from the keycap so you'll have to tilt your hand down for you to reach the keys. It's a bit uncomfortable for me so I opted not to use it while testing. They already made this hot swappable so I'm thinking we can already mod the stabs. But no, they're using their own brand of stabs. It's decent and factory preload but the thing is still there. It would be great if they use the standard Cherry MX stabs so that users and modders can tinker with it if they don't like how it sounds. It's a good key overall and I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Everything feels very premium and the features are on point. But there is still room for improvement. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to check our stocks, um, please visit our site at hwsugar.ph, our physical store at Chino Rosas Makati. And if you have questions, please visit our forum at pm.hwsugar.ph. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tuko po na to. De joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.